Here's the latest on the Getty fire. So far, more than 500 acres have been scorched and at least five homes have burned with 10,000 more structures threatened. Mandatory evacuations are in effect from Mulholland South to Sunset and from Temescal Canyon East to the 405. And the southbound 405 is closed in the Sepulveda Pass from the 101 to Sunset. We have live team coverage. Our team of reporters is spread out across the Sepulveda Pass, but we begin with CBS 2 Sandra Mitchell live in our satellite center. Sandra? So many people. This fire started about 1.30 in the morning, so middle of the night, many people sleeping. Really strong winds, and it just took off quickly. Here's how things develop as our crews arrived on the scene. So this is what it looked like along the 405 freeway, and you can see the view from the passenger in the Sepulveda Pass, passenger in the car. He said this was in the Beverly Hills area near the Getty Center, and you can see the fire burning so close to the freeway in that video there. Things really scary on Tiger Tail Road. We know that multiple homes have burned on that street. We want to give you a look a little bit down this way. Uh, we, see, we can see trees here that just lit up literally within the last couple of minutes since we've been here. And uh, you can see, look at those flames. I mean, it is just changing by the minute. Everything is just going up. We've got flying embers uh, going everywhere. And um, so we don't know if there's a home uh, where that tree is burning, uh, probably uh, very likely, uh, seeing as though, uh, you know, this neighborhood, the homes are pretty spread out. These people have pretty large property. Um, but again, you can just see, uh, this fire is moving very swiftly because of the winds. Boy, you can hear the concern in Candace Curran's voice. There were tense moments for thousands of people. Again, they were sleeping. They woke up to find out that they were in mandatory evacuation zones, and many really didn't have much time to get out. So I woke up at 3 a.m. in the morning, and I heard all these sirens. My parents, I heard them, like, arguing and fighting. I saw... Uh, my, we, my sister was sound asleep. Um, I went to my parents' room and I saw them packing. They explained to me what was going on and I went to go wake up my sister. And then for like 30 minutes or something, we have a lot of stuff, we started packing. It was really scary because um, I thought, what if the fire could catch in our house? And I could literally see the flames up in the sky. Oh, she's so young, but so composed. It was really scary. Just a, a terrifying scenario for families in the Sepulveda Pass as flames race toward these homes. Right now, we don't have any reports of injuries. Tina Patel was along the 405 as those flames quickly approached. And the 405 was open as an evacuation route until about 9 o'clock this morning. Then they started to shut down portions of the 405. Despite the threat, some people ignored the evacuation orders, and L.A. City Councilman Paul Caretz had a strong message for them. If you're in Bel Air, uh, because of the wind conditions, we don't expect you to be in danger. However, if it were me, and I know the department isn't asking, I would, on the ready, set, go system, I would be ready. I would at least get my papers and anything else I was planning on taking together. Um, and I would have my, uh, my animals, at least I would want to know where they are. Uh, so many people forced out of their homes, and for them now begins this agonizing wait because they don't know if their homes were one of those damaged or destroyed in the fire today. So things have now gone from, from them from just really nerve-wracking to just this tense, agonizing wait. DeMarco, Suzanne, back to you.